Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I did this really cute like ornament look. It was inspired by some nail art I did. I really like it. I think it's so cute and I'm really excited. I love it with the black lip. I know that we've been doing a lot of like dark looks for this season. I promise next week I will come with a nice fun Santa look, but I don't know. I just thought this was like a really cute idea, so I went with it and I'm really freaking happy with how it turned out. So if you guys would like to achieve this look, then just keep on watching. Or just watch it because it's really satisfying. <laughs> okay guys, so the first thing I'm doing is pulling out my mini hula bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics and we're just gonna be doing my bronzer. I already finished my Hinton Skin Tint, my concealer, and my eyebrows. So we're just gonna get right into this freaking look because I know it's gonna take me a fat minute and it's already 11.15 at night, so it'll be fun. I also have to edit this and upload it by tomorrow, so that's gonna be even more fun. Watch it on uh, What do you mean my camera's almost dead? <laughs> I have a backup battery, but like I don't feel like taking it out. I have changed the battery. Okay guys, so now we are gonna be getting into eyeshadow and everything. So I'm just gonna be pulling out my 35C Everyday Chic Palette. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna be very careful with this and like very light obviously because we don't want to distract from the um, eye makeup art we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be going into the color Fashionly Late and I'm gonna be putting this on my crease, but I'm gonna be putting it on my crease very lightly. I think I'm gonna go into the color Have a Moment. I think that's gonna look good. And I'm just gonna be putting that on my eyelid and on my crease, making like a smoky eye. And then I think we're ready to get on with the ornament, which I think is gonna look really cute. So I'm gonna show you guys, these are the nails I did. I'm really freaking proud of them. I think they're so freaking beautiful and I love them. We're gonna be doing this ornament right here. So you can see it's got some snow and some trees and there's like different colored trees. There's like grays and like black trees. It kind of creates that sort of like dimension. I think it's so cool. So we're gonna be attempting to do that on my face. I'm gonna be going into my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I'm gonna be drawing a circle and I'm gonna be drawing it right here. And that is gonna be where the ornament is. Really careful with our placement, just making sure that there's enough room for the ornament and then the decorations inside the ornament. And I love doing that. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be taking this out and I'm just gonna be putting it and making a circle, probably like right here and then just drawing the circle all the way around the outer corner of my eye. So if you're confused, just watch me do it and maybe you'll understand. And this is my NYX eyeshadow base in the color white and I'm gonna be putting this on top of the, oh my God, ew, I just burped. On top of the concealer I just applied. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking out my CoverGirl concealer. This doesn't have a color on it. Like it literally just says 8313. And I, there's a color on like, like Amazon, which is where I got this, but there's not a color on the actual product. It just says shake well, so I don't really know, man. But we're gonna be taking this out. It's just in the color gray, pretty much. And I have the link down below to all the products I use in this video. So if you wanna get something, you're more than welcome to look at the list. I'm gonna be taking this, putting this on my brush and just kind of dabbing it on this look. This is gonna create kind of like an ombre effect and make it look um, like there's like some sort of a shadow. It just personally looks better in my opinion when there's like this ombre effect. What's it called? I'm not even, focus on me. Because I'm gonna be using a, the color black, I'm not gonna be using an eyeliner, I'm gonna be using eyeshadow because it's a little bit easier to control and black is a very dark color and I don't wanna chance it. So I'm gonna be going into the color Fashionly Late and dabbing that on the top part here. Again, creating that like, Nice, fun dimension. I 
Okay, so now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking out this white liquid liner. I'm gonna be going and outlining the circle with this. Um, just be really careful because obviously the crease line is right here, so make sure that your liquid liner has set before. And I'm actually using the NYX Epic Eyewear Waterproof Liner in the color white, so yeah, just. I'm just pulling out my nail art brush. I've never used this on my nails just for makeup purposes only. I promise I'm not stupid and there's actually a nice dotting tool on the other end which we will be pulling out later. Focus. Thank you. So yeah, I'm gonna be going into the white and I'm just gonna be drawing some trees. And how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna draw a line down and then honestly just draw like three lines and just make the top one really short, the middle one like a middle size and then the bottom one really long. That's how you're gonna draw the trees. <laughs> Very simple, just watch me do it. If you do not understand and hopefully you will understand. Just be careful on where you place the trees. Obviously the whites are gonna be more in the background whereas the darkest ones, the black trees are gonna be way in the front. Perfect, I'm actually only gonna draw one tree in white. I think I'm gonna draw probably maybe like two trees in gray and then maybe like uh, two trees in black. That's kind of the plan right now. So now I'm gonna be going back into my gray color girl liquid liner and I'm just gonna be again pulling out the nail brush and doing the same thing I did just in the gray color. So while we are waiting for this to dry before we get into the black I'm actually gonna be doing um, the little top part of the ornament. So I'm just gonna be pulling out my gray and then drawing a little tiny square right here. Perfect, and we will get into the detail with that a little bit later. Oh my god, it looks so cool though. And then now I'm going into the black and I'm pulling out my um, <laughs> NYX Professional Legacy Point Eyeliner in the color Hella Fine. I absolutely love this freaking eyeliner. And I'm gonna be drawing the trees again, just in black. I'm gonna be outlining this top part right here in black, and then I'm gonna be starting to get into all the details on the top of the ornament. So we're gonna just outline this nice little white part right here in black. Again, just watch me do it if you're confused. And then I'm just gonna be outlining this little box. I'm gonna be outlining this side and this side, but not this side right here. And then now I'm going back into the white and I'm just gonna be doing the same thing I did on this top part of the ornament in black in white, just to create a little bit more dimension. Okay guys, so I'm just going into my NYX Epic Wear Waterproof Liner and this is in the color Silver Metal. And I'm just gonna be putting this right here just to get that extra piece of dimension. I think it's gonna look really cute. excited <laughs> okay so now we're gonna get into like the bow and everything so um i think the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm just going to um i don't even know i have no clue what i'm doing don't ask me i'm gonna sketch out a double cut crease so i'm gonna be creating just a little line in the sh shape of a spoon if you're confused just watch me do it um just because obviously we need something for the bow to connect to I'm gonna actually be drawing a line down and connecting it right here. So now I'm gonna be drawing a line down here and connecting it to the ornament, because obviously you need a little string if you're an ornament. And I'm gonna be drawing the bow. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, and while I have this out, I'm actually gonna be doing my eyeliner, just regular eyeliner, no wing. And now I'm going back into the white and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of some detail, outlining the inside of the bow and underneath just to give it more dimension. I feel so magical. Like I can't even express how magical I feel. Okay, and then now it's time to fix just like the little mini dot in the middle of the um, eye look. So I'm pulling out my NYX Professionals Matte Liquid Liner, and this is in the color black, I believe. Yeah, from NYX. Where else would I get it from? And I'm actually gonna be pulling out that dotting tool I mentioned and putting some of the liner on this dotting tool and then putting a dot in the middle of the bow. Now we're gonna be doing a little bit of decor in the bow. We're gonna be just drawing a little dot just to kind of give it a glare effect. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so I'm going back into my white eyeliner and I'm pulling out my dotting tool and I'm just gonna be doing little dots of snow inside the little ornament. Oh, that looks good. I 
don't want to do dots along it. I don't know. I can't. I Guys, I can't make these decisions, okay? I just can't. It's too hard. I think I'm gonna go into my metallic and I'm just gonna do a, like an inside outline of the double cut crease. Oh, that looks so freaking cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna do some dots on the um, top part right here, just in white. I think that's gonna look really freaking cute. I'm very much excited. Let's hope it looks good. <laughs> Oh my god, I completely forgot to mention that I was pulling out my um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Black Bean and putting that on my waterline. That's what I did, <laughs> in case you were confused. For the under eyes, I think you're gonna go into the color Fashionably Late again and put that on the outer corner of my under eye. Okay, and then we're gonna go into the color Have a Moment and put that the rest of the way. Hi. I feel really cute right now. So now I'm gonna be going into my e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow and this is in the color bling bling and I'm gonna be putting this in the inner corner of my eye. And then I also think I'm gonna be putting this in the snow globe a little bit. Like I'm gonna be very careful, I'm gonna dab it very lightly. But I feel like that'd be really cute. I'll just give it a little something. Okay guys, I think it looks really good. I'm going to finish the other eye off camera and then we'll come back to do everything else. So I will see you guys in a little bit. What time is it? Okay, it's currently almost 1 a.m. So wish me luck. Pulling out the Becca highlighter, y'all know it. But I absolutely love this highlighter so much. Now we are moving on to blush, and I'm pulling out my um, my Morphe X Maddie Ziegler Cheek and Lip Mousse, and this is in the color Very Good. I wanted to do something like a little reddish, just cause obviously like Christmas. Okay, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, my camera is like dying. I'm not even joking. Okay, now we are moving on to our mascara. I'm just gonna be pulling out my Last Princess um, Volume Mascara. I love this mascara so freaking much. And then now it is time for lipstick, so I'm going into my Carity Matte Lipstick, and this is in the color Vinyl. Okay, beauty babes, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any video requests or review requests or scene requests or anything like that. I'll try my hardest to do them. If you'd like to follow me on my social media, located in the end card, it'll also be linked down below along with the subscribe button. So make sure you subscribe to my channel because I post really fun makeup content. And yeah, I think that is all I have to say. So bye bye, beauty babes. Love you. Stay safe, happy, and warm. Stay warm. Doing it all night, all summer Doing it